You said what? It's not Zoom? I know it's not Zoom, bro. It's YouTube. But we still got class today, and today I'm your professor. So sit down, grab a pen and paper, start taking notes, because today we're going over six simple rules or tips that anybody in the world can implement to look more stylish. But before we even get started, you guys hear that? That music that you hear, that's literally produced by my brother. He's a producer, he makes music, he makes beats, he makes music, his own music actually. Um, every single video that I've uploaded to this channel, every single song has been made by him. Um, he's the one who's always helping me out by making music because there is music out there to choose from. Um, you know, there's obviously companies out there that make music for literally just for YouTube, people, to, people who create videos to have music. But it's not really that good, in my opinion. You know, that type of music is just, it don't, it don't hit the same, bro. And my brother, he makes some fire music. He makes some really good beats, actually, you know. Um, so this is just an appreciation towards him. You know, bro, thank you so much. I appreciate all the love and support that you give me. Thank you for always helping me out with some music. You always come through. So from my half, you know, I want you guys to hit that link down below. Um, check out his music, check out his Instagram. Um, go give him a follow, you know, go show him some love from, from our side because literally every single video that I've uploaded has been produced by him. His music, man, he's so good at it. He actually just dropped an album not too long ago. But, you know, you guys can go check it out, you know, listen to his music, go um, follow him on Instagram, show him some love from our side. Because like I said, bro, you always come through and I appreciate that. So, with that being said, let's roll on to tip number one. So... Rule number one to look more stylish literally anywhere in the world is first, you must understand where you live. You've heard the saying, you know, dress for the occasion. Well, here it's, you know, dress for the location. So dep literally depending on where you live, that kind of has an effect, you know, that's a, it's, a, it's a little factor that you have to take into consideration when you're learning how to dress, when you're learning how to, how to look good. Because, you know, here where I live in California, you know, there's certain sections of California that have like all four seasons. There are, there's other sections where, Literally, the weather is kind of the same year round. So where I live, literally, we get four seasons, all right? You got spring, summer, fall, winter. We get we get all seasons. But let's say, you know, I have a suit, I put on a coat. Here where I live, that's fine. Because, you know, winter time, bro, it gets pretty cold. You know, that's fine. But let's say I use that same outfit and I go to, I don't know, San Diego or somewhere by the beach. I'm gonna be looking a little bit off. People will be like, bro, what are you, why are you wearing a suit with a coat? Like, you're at the beach. What, what is, bro, it's like 80 degrees outside, bro. What, what are you doing? You know, so that's something that you have to take, to take into consideration and understand that when it comes to fashion, you have to understand and learn, you know, what's the weather like where you live. Point number two. So when it comes to fashion, make sure that the clothing items that you wear, um, that they're minimalistic. A, to start off, you, you don't necessarily want to be buying clothes with like huge logos on them because now that t-shirt that says Supreme, a white with a red Supreme, bro, if you wear that three days out of the week, people will notice that. Like, oh, bro, didn't you wear that on Monday? I kind of, you know, I saw you on Monday with that t-shirt, bro. You know, like what's going on, bro? You, you need some, I got extra shirts if you need some, bro, you know? <laughs> but let's say now that you, you got a, the same t-shirt, but it's now it's simple. It's a white, simple t-shirt. You can use that throughout the entire week. You can literally use multiple outfits with that same t-shirt and people won't even notice. So that's why my recommendation for you is to, in order to look more stylish, first start buying uh, clothing items that are minimalistic that, and that fit you well, okay? That's another key. You have to make sure that the clothing items that you buy, they fit you well because that, that enhances certain body features of, from your body and it makes you look good. You don't necessarily wanna start buying baggy, baggy shirts, baggy, uh, baggy jeans, um, because A, it doesn't look good and it doesn't look stylish. And if you're if you're short, <clears throat> here's another problem. If you're short and you buy baggy clothes, that just makes you look a little bit even more more like baggy. It makes you look a little bit more shorter. Um, so that's another reason why you don't necessarily want to be buying baggy clothes. Um, it just it, it's not fashionable and it doesn't look good. So now this leads me to point number three, which is start layering. In order to look more stylish, in order to look more fashionable, you want to layer your clothes. Um, meaning, so let's say that you're here where I live in California, okay? So I have this simple white t-shirt, but I threw on this other button up t-shirt, you know? Like, it's a, it's it's simple, it's very thin, it's a very thin fabric, very thin layer. Um, but what this creates, you know, is it makes me look more fashionable, it makes me look more stylish, simply because it's 
kind of more complicated other than wearing a simple t-shirt you're throwing something over that simple t-shirt so it makes the outfit look a little bit more complex and for some reason us humans we just like things that look complicated because we just i don't know we just we just tend to show more appreciation towards things so you know i kind of figured that's the reason why we we like guys or people who start laying like damn bro you look really good you look very stylish you know like damn you know you appreciate that okay so that's kind of that's my other tip if you want to look more stylish you want to look more fashionable start layering it can be a simple thin layer as like this button up you can do flannels you can do trench coats there are a variety of different options that you can use to start layering but the best option the best thing that you want to do when you start layering is just go for thin layers it's as simple as that and i promise you you're gonna look 10 times better you can look so stylish and now this leads me to point number four so in order to look more stylish in order to look more fashionable not only do you want to you know implement these past three rules but also you want to start implementing accessories your accessories just it kind of just it's the final touches to the outfit you know just putting on that bracelet boom there you go you know that's that's the final touch to my outfit and mwah, it just looks so good it makes you look so stylish there are a lot of guys out there who simply don't bother to put on a bracelet like your outfit can be looking so good but you don't you're not wearing a bracelet bro you're like damn bro it's just just add that watch bro just add that necklace just add those shades and you're you're you're, you're gonna look super stylish so now this leads me on to point number six which is when you do go out make sure that your clothing items they're not wrinkled gosh there's i've seen so many guys walking down the street with wrinkled t-shirt with some wrinkled jeans in the wrinkled collar and i'm like bro you know how at least you look you know how like immature how like un unbothered which is kind of good but not really because it just makes you look like mm, sorry bro that's just not gonna do it man you know you you want to watch out for wrinkled clothes because like I said, it makes you look unstylish. It makes you look immature. It just makes you look like you don't care, you know? And that's that's really something that you don't want to be doing when it comes to style. You want to look like you care. You want to look like you gave thought and that you gave effort into your outfit. Point number six, in order to look more stylish literally anywhere in the world, it comes down to your shoe game, okay? Um, you kind of want to avoid sneakers, you know, like Jordan. You kind of want to avoid those, you know, those trends and go for like more simple casual shoes like leather white sneakers bro. you can wear some white sneakers with a suit you can wear them with a casual outfit with the streetwear to the gym you know they're like i said there's an infinite amount of options that you can use uh white leather sneakers with so that's a like your best option and two in my opinion going for boots uh specifically chelsea boots um i'm a huge fan of chelsea boots i just love chelsea boots i always get so many compliments when i'm wearing you know some Chelsea boots out in the street with like my outfit. People are like, bro, like your outfit looks really good. I like those boots. You know, it's it's another way of saying, you know, not only to other people, but to like girls and stuff like that. Like, hey bro, like, I know what I'm doing, bro. Like, trust me, when you throw on some Chelsea boots, people are like, like, dang, bro, that looks really nice. That looks really good. With that being said, make sure that you guys give this video a big thumbs up, show it some love. Um, share it with one of your friends because uh, I know that there are a lot of guys out there who still don't understand how to dress good, who still don't know like the concept of fashion. So, you know, help them out, send them this video. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button, become part of this YouTube family because I am producing more content for you guys. Um, I know I've been busy, bit, like super busy lately, but I'm trying my best out here to, you know, make videos for you guys because this is something that I love to do, something that I, I really want to do because I love helping people. And if I'm able to help others, like other people, you know, with fashion, you know, to gain, okay, have them feel better about themselves, you know, make them feel more confident, you know, I want to do that. I, I genuinely want to do that. And, you know, all the support that you guys show me, all the love that you guys give me really helps me out. It, it kind of, you know, keeps me motivated to produce more videos for you guys. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You know, thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys show me. Don't forget, you know, hit that link down below and show, also show my brother some love. You know, he's he's putting in work. You know, I've, I've seen him grow as a producer. I've seen him grow as a music artist, you know, because he makes his own music. He makes beats. You know, I've seen him grow and I just want to show him love and appreciation from my side. So don't forget, check him out. Tell him that, send, tell him that we send love from our side, you know, drop a, a heart or something on one of his latest pictures. Um, but with that being said, you know, thank you so much for all the love and support. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.